Check, check, check. All right. I think we should be live now. chat situated real quick you no know, nobody's gonna be in here anyway but it is what it is skinny pimping like we are live we are good everything's all set so what's good y'all welcome back to another berserk manga live stream so this stream we will be continuing through volume 10 of berserk we will be going through chapters 54 55 56 57 and 58 finishing out volume 10 so before we get into the stream if you have not already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel as well as that notification bell to get notified for more content that I put out. As well, if you've been enjoying the stream, be sure to hit me with a like and leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on this volume of Berserk. Don't spoil nothing for me. And you know, if you end up joining the stream, feel free to chat it up with me. We here, we live, we are getting through the Golden Age arc. We're like almost there, we're almost done. So without any further ado, let's just get into it, y'all. Bet. Let me hydrate real quick. Agua on deck. Okay. Let's get this shit. See, Berserk chapter 54. Your boy Griffith coming out the, the, the darkness. Griffith? Gri what? Whoa, is my man's whole spawn showing? Looking real attack on Titany right now. Looking very attack on Titany. Oh, they even locked. They even fucking chained his helmet to his face? Huh, is that why he has his helmet on like like a savage in the, the Black Swordsman arc shit? All right, reunion in the abyss. G G Griffith? I'm like, no, it can't be. Nani? Let's see. Got to pick him up. My man is fucking tattered, boy. Oh, how the mighty and the beautiful have fallen. So what, is Griffith so ugly now that he doesn't remove this mask? He gives me a, this is giving me real, uh, what's his name? Uh, Grogu? You ever seen To Your Eternity? Anybody ever seen To Your Eternity? This is giving real Grogu vibes from To Your Eternity. All right. His arms, his arm and leg tendons are cut. His tongue too. Casca, the key. She's like, what? Come on, Casca. Try to get him out. Trying to get him out of there. My man's about to look nuts. They like, whoa. Somebody put that shit back on him, boy. Let's 
They said, put that mask back on him. He looking nuts. Stay back. Get the hell away. They're like, what? What? He's so ugly, it might be contagious. That can't be. This can't be. It can't be Griffith. Oh, he looking at Gus like, it's all your fault. You left me. You left me for dead. Griffith. She reached for him. Mm. You look tight though, bro. They're like, what? Is he whispering in his ear? He trying to kiss him? What he doing? Man, Gus feel like shit right now. He grabbed his hand. Crying all on Griffith. Hmm. Lord Griffith, let go. What? Release me. What? What's happened to Lord Griffith? Tell me. Ain't the pretty boy used to know. <laughs> they all sweating bullets. But thump, but thump. Hmm. All right. <laughs> That's uh, far enough. <laughs> I'm this place's jailer. Don't be afraid, your highness. I'm kind of a mesh to look at. You people can't get away now, cause I locked the door. I called the shoulders too. They'll come running soon, so give up nice and quiet. Your Highness, be patient here a bit longer. This means I've got some new toys again, and His Majesty will be happy with me too. <laughs> hey. Hey, you, bitch ass. He about to kick this fucking wall down. You the one? The one who did all this to Griffith? No use getting mad. This door is four times normal thickness. Even if you hit it with a hammer, it don't budge. Besides, his majesty said I could do whatever I wanted to. So I did. So it's not my fault. Huh. I've never had a pupil as pretty as him in my care. I put a lot of effort into torturing him. First, to keep him from running away, I cut the tendons in his arms and legs. Then, whenever he wasn't eating or sleeping, I take off his skin and nails. I use hot irons, boiling water, you name it. This past year, I've seen to him constantly like we were husband and wife. I'm also the one who nursed him so he wouldn't die. You could split us apart. We was so close. You could have split us apart. This guy's a fucking weirdo. And you know, when you're as professional a torturer as I am, beauty isn't just skin deep. When I peel the skin away, I recognize the beauty of muscles and blood vessels too. Oh, and I was so moved when I opened up that beautiful face. The pink mus muscle that peeked out at me from the womb. His skin and flesh are one in a hundred. No, one in a thousand. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the best part of my collection. Look, <laughs> this, this. My good luck charm. A tongue. His tongue. This guy's a fucking weirdo, bro. This guy's a weirdo. Like I said, it's no use getting mad. Psh, cut through that whole fucking door. Bitch. Bitch is guts. What? Uh, uh. Mm. That's what you get, bro. All that chit chat's gonna get you hurt. It's gonna get you hurt, boy. Seeing as you're seeing as how you're gonna die, you ain't getting to heaven double tongue. So st 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 stop, 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 stop. <laughs> mm, it's old for you, boy. Oh. Mm, that's what you get, bitch. Forget it. Your breath reeks too much. You're going to hell. Yeah. <laughs> I can't hear you. Sp Speak, speak clearly. My son is in demon mode. It's demon time for guts, boy. Uh, down the hole he goes. Fix my lighting in here real quick.
quick. Give me one second, though. the arrows don't move we've got you surrounded with crossbows and shit that's far enough throw down your weapons and surrender quietly miss casca i will highness you really shouldn't guts oh he about to go into berserk mode reunion in the abyss and Okay. Okay, all right. See you, Gutsu. Solid chapter. They did your boy Griffith grimy, son. They ripped this he ripped this thing apart, son. You hate to fucking see it. Alright. Let's get into the next chapter. Chapter 55. Let's see. Keep up with me. Guts. Tch, nigga pulling up, going crazy. Sweet, sweet. A way through. Yeah, he about to fucking bum rush his way through all these motherfuckers. Look, head, head, another head. Uh, uh, uh. Tch, nigga moving like the yellow flash, looking like Minato. Look, chop all these dudes in half. They not even ready. Pull up. H how dare you? you? You resist? What are you doing? Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> boop. Boop. through him, bro. Use them as a fucking shield for arrows. Mm. They not even ready. They shook it. They shook it. Straight down they skulls. Fucking three in a row. They are getting fucking bum rush. I don't understand how this many people can't beat one person. I mean, he's guts. I get it. But like, god damn. Ugh. F fools. Who told you to retreat? Stand your ground. Stop that! We'll, we'll fall. <sighs> mm, the wolves, boy. Nah, nigga, guts had the one year time skip. He going crazy. Save me! Save me! That's horrible. Bloody rain. Uh, uh, Lord Griffith. Lord Griffith. Gri Get them. Can you go on, your highness? Pippin, see the Griffith. Right. For now, for now all I can think about is getting Griffith out of this place. Let's go. Don't fall behind guts. Hmm. What's taking so long? I hear voices, sir. It seems they return. Well, it's about time. How could a mere foreign surgeons give 30 men so much trouble? But Captain, sir, the band of the Hawk means that hundred man killer. Simpleton, you really think the captain of the Raiders will perform this res rescue himself? Besides, you know this is a story that happened in the confusion of a battle and has gotten exaggerated. Psh, yeah, you think, nigga. Think about it. Where in the world is there anyone who could cut down a hundred armed soldiers? At the most, a dozen or so. Psh, yeah, all right. Look at that. Look at all this action. Sweet! Sweet! Look at that. Whoo! Demon time. What? What? Nani? Nigga Gus is ready. Nigga said, what's up? I know him. It, it, it's Guts. The Hawks Raiders captain. Guts. The hundred man killer. Guts. Captain. Look, he pulled up to the front. He's not even ready. He talking all that shit. He wasn't even ready. <sighs> Wait, what are you doing? Surround him, encircle him, but, but idiots. He's run up all this way swinging that big sword around. See for yourselves, he's already out of breath. 
Now that you mention it, you fools. In battle, if you let your opponent see you're winded, it's the same as throwing away most of your chance of victory. Watch carefully and learn the intensity of the battlefield. <laughs> yeah, I. Whoop! Whoopsie! <laughs> and there goes your head, sir. There goes your head top, sir. You lived a, a meaningful life, I suppose. Something. Brains out for the count. Guts! <laughs> this nigga is different, boy. Nigga really had the one year time skip and giving it up nuts. <sighs> Sliced. Incredible. Like a whirlwind. Follow him. <sighs> Casco, her little stab. Jado was a little stat stat. Aang! Stay your hand, fools. Oh, there goes the king. There goes the bitch ass king. Bitch ass, bitch ass. It's a bitch ass, bitch ass. The princess. What would you do if you hit Charlotte? Your Majesty. But at this rate, never. Absolutely nothing must ever happen to expose the princess to danger. Withdraw your troops immediately. Look, we got Pippin, Griffith, and uh, Charlotte. King about to be tight. Look, he mad, he dropping his thing. Damn you. Damn you, Griffith. You should have rotted away beneath that tower long ago. You've crawled out from the depths of darkness to take my Charlotte again. So you will steal my light and run? I won't. I won't let you. Yeah, right, bitch. Look at you, nasty. Just, just wither away. What? Somebody get him out of here. He's yucky. He is yucky. Majesty, Bakiraka. Sure, sire. Summon the Bakiraka. Th the Bakiraka. What is the Bakiraka? Who's this? Is it this three savages? Looking like Vega. One, two, three, four, five. So you about to five, uh, five uh, little demon thingies or whatever the fuck these are. Let's see. A way through. End. All right. That is the end of chapter 55. You're making some good pace right now. All right. Cool. My son Guts went ham. Hard as a motherfucker. So let's get into chapter 56. Let me check something real quick. My bad, y'all. I was just trying to make it a little bit brighter. I felt like it was a little dark. I like just switched my lens recently for my camera, so I just want to make sure y'all can see me. I'm not too hidden in the in the bushes. All right. Cool. Baki Raka, chapter one. Boy, Gus looks stressed out right here, bruh. There they go. They got like a little five man crew. It's the Ginyu Force. We got uh, Captain Ginyu. What's his, what's his dude name? Jace, Berta, Raccoon. Saki, what's good, my guy? Thank you. I will take care. I'm pushing through. Appreciate you stopping by and uh, leaving a little chatty chat. Let's see. We gonna show these people faces. B Bakiraka. These are Captain. What on earth are Bakiraka? I don't know much myself, but they're a fighting group from people to the east. Highly skilled in assassination. They're also called murderers. 
They also called the Murderous Guild and an assassination order. The full story is completely shrouded in mystery. But there are stories claiming that in the former time of war, a hundred rulers, vassals, and the like from assorted countries fell victim to them. In a way, they're more frightened than any army of 10,000. Of 10, Assassination order? I never thought that they were employed here in Midland. Now listen, do away with every last one of those trying to take the princess from this castle. Especially that Griffith. You must kill him by any means necessary. If to that end, the five of you must cast away your own lives, I care not in the least. However, I will tolerate no harm to the princess. If by some chance, even the tip of one of Charlotte's nails comes to harm, then the entire Midland army shall wipe the Baki Rock clean from the face of the earth until none remain. You got Vega over here like, all right, bro, let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Now go, present Charlotte before me, along with Griffith's head. All these splatters remained. <laughs> Somehow we made it this far, but the soldiers attack seemed to stop partway through. Did I imagine it? Hmm. My man's just fucking tired. <laughs> <laughs> He scares me. Fuck you mean he scares you? He just fucking saved Griffith. Just got some fucking nerve. Anyway. Casca. Go take care of your man. Wipe his ear. Wipe his face down. Ugh. At least wipe the blood off. The princess is frightened. Yo, he just staring, boy. He just... I'm gonna assume that's why Griffith didn't speak in the Black Swordsman arc. Because he ain't got no fucking tongue. Got his ass. Can't smooth talk no more. Wipe me down. See? So Griffin been away for a year. Now he, see, now he peeping guts got his lady. His old lady. Even though he never wanted parts anyway. He like. You took. You left me and you took Casca from me. Now let's hurry. Once we get on the ground. We're good to go. Hmm. Ugh. Just when I served for five years straight in the palace and thought I finally had the honor of attending to the princess. What I do to deserve this? What about my remittance to my parents? I'm sorry, Anna, but take heart. Yes, yes, I know. I'm desperate anyway. I'll stay with you to the ends of the earth. Hmm. Highness. I don't mind. It's, she's ripping her skirt. It's way easier to run. She's changed somehow. Yes, I don't care how I look. The warm fireplace, the waiting servants, I don't need them. It's alright if he can't speak. I'm sure even his wounds will heal. We'll be together. Forever and ever. Talk about thirsty. Talk about thirsty. Wait, what's up? Pebblesy. Griffith's guts could fill the smoke. Look at this dude. Look at Vega. Look, he's above them. Swoop, get down. Mm. Is Guts gonna lose an arm in this fucking arc? Is he about to lose an arm? This nigga is crazy. Nigga's fucking climbing the walls. What? What's that? Be on guard. It's still nearby. Look, see, now she's just over here like, I don't know what to do. Oh, God, look at this fucking ugly thing coming out the fucking crevices of the water. Casca! Huh? You need to come through with a pitchfork? No! No! I bet she blocked it. It's because I know Casca is going to die eventually. I just don't know. Look at them. Your Highness! Hmm. 
<laughs> hmm. Your Highness, Your Highness. Uh, uh. Don't move. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Blundering fool. Wait. An exchange. Exchange. We want you to handle the princess. In exchange, we guarantee her life. Say what? <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. The blow dart which struck the princess was poison. If left untreated, she will surely die within a short time. We possess the antidote. Don't worry. It will go badly for us if she dies. Now, what do you do? Highness. All right, we'll grant your exchange. You sure? There's no room for choice. It's unavoidable. Good. You there, maid servant. Bring the princess here. You are outside our contract. If you don't resist, we won't kill you. Your Highness, please hang on. Uh. No. She's grabbing Griffith. Together. Together, always. She is too upset. He don't want you, girl. She trying to speak? She looked back, she's turning around. Well, everyone, it was a short while, <laughs> but thank you for everything. Thanks? <laughs> this way. <laughs> now then, we take your lives. Comes this dude coming from behind. I'm some Pippin better than that. He better than that. Bring down the hammer on him. Boom, bitch. This dude fucking splashing through. Nigga is agile. Trying to swing at him. They can't get him for nothing. Form a ring around Griffith. Now. What is that, a whip? Oh, this big dude. Muscles McGee, here he comes. Oh, he got a fucking spear. He about to toss that shit. Oof. What is this? What is that little... What is this thing right here? What's this thing on here? The, the full toss. Guts lucky he blocked that shit. Spot on. Hmm. Hit the parry. Guts. Ugh. Woo. Hold on. Let me turn my AC off. Cause it's fucking I'm cold. <laughs> you okay? Stay focused, stupid. What was that? A javelin. It felt like a cannon. They're sniping us. Douse the light. Don't. That frog thing's still around. Here comes the next. Get down. <sighs> mm, they getting lucky, boy. That shit would just go clean straight through them. <laughs> Ooh, that shit is ricocheting. His aim's dead on. We're gonna die before we can get close. Now what? I'll put out the light. I have an idea. An idea? No time to explain. Pippin, when I give the signal, hit the wall as hard as you can with your warhammer. Time for my street show. Guess you can pay admission later. Lights out. Fools, they put out their light. The hook, claws, and harpoon will rip you apart. Hmm. My son, Judo is about to hit the knife. The knife moves. Kunai with chain. Judo. So he's about to maybe parry, maybe fuck the sounds up for them, make them hear other things. See, here comes this dude from behind the water. I see him. Hey, Jado, nice. He nice with it. Gotta put some respect on his name. Hmm, got him right in the fucking neck. Woo, my son. 
pulled through, my son Jay. Mr. J pulled up with the fucking clutch move. I respect it. Now, Pippin, hit as hard as you can. We'll see the enemy by the sparks. There they go. That's only three of them, though, right? That's one, two, and then the other dude with the, the pin and the other girl. So there's, there's, two, there's three of them. There's two more left. Huh? Yeah. Ah. Straight down on that ass. Mm. Got him right in his fucking neck. Slice him right through his fucking shit. Yeah, that's teamwork right there. That's the band of the fucking Hulk. Let's get this shit, boy. Pocky Rocker 2. And. Shout out to the fucking guys. That's teamwork, man. It's the best starting five in the game right now. All right. We have one more chapter left in volume 10, y'all. We will be finishing with chapter 58 for this stream. So, onward. All right. Well, that's split down the middle. Some would say you have a splitting headache. Ooh, see, look at that. Ooh. Mm. Flower of the Stone Castle. I feel like that other dude's not down. These two are definitely down for the count. But that big dude with the spear is definitely not out of here. <sighs> Way to go, Judo. You use sparks to see the enemy's position. The javelin striking the wall and scattering sparks made me think of it. I never thought it worked this well. Judo, light the lantern again. Okay. <sighs> hey. You smell something? What is that? Oh, they're getting poisoned, probably. Don't light it! They smell gas. What's wrong, Pippin? Run to the exit. Oh, there we go. Got another... She got carrying... What is that? How much of gunpowder? She baddie, though. She cute, though. <laughs> hmm. Oh, she's sparking flames with her bangles. Oh, nah. She did the whole shit on fu- She hit her with the- Katon! She hit her with the Katon! Fire. Why? The dust caught fire. If it catches up to us, even our lungs will be burnt black. Hurry! You gotta be kidding! No, oh, so big dude is out of here. Other two homies is out of here. They burnt through. They burnt to a crisp. It's over for them. Fucking about to be quiet for them, son. They stuck in this fucking tunnel. Not good. No. Pippin. Pippin about to fucking play sacrifice, or he's just gonna hit the roof. Oh, there we go. Get us out of here, boy. Look, the starry moonlight. Get down. Okay, so the flames went up instead of getting them. Good move, man. Y'all are playing smart, boy. Hmm. Look at them. Pippin fucking wiping his fucking face. The same accident happened at the mine I used to work in. Fire will gush upwards to a, to a wider surface. Wow, that was quick thinking. Griffith showed me the little bit of moonlight coming through the ceiling. Griffith did? Hmm. What? Let's hurry. The edge is not far. Woo! Oh, the... The king didn't give a fuck. Damn, son. He just... He just... His body, dog. She's like, eek! Then I tell you, I'd never forgive you if any harm came to the princess. On top of that, you let them get away. <laughs> and you, all the time her maid, you were helping to promote this scheme? <laughs> Wait. Anna wasn't involved. I forced her to be a part of it. So let Anna, Highness, 
Please forgive Anna, your highness. Of course, of course. Now you don't worry about anything. Just get rest. This bitch ass. This bitch ass. He should be dead. Nasty man. Also, let Lord Griffith go. You, you and he still? Lord Griffith can no longer speak or move. His hands or feet. He suffered enough in the darkness a whole year. Surely your majesty must be satisfied by now. Don't take anything else away from him. Please. Very well. I will not interfere with that man again. You may be at ease. Really? I swear. So you should cease worrying about anything and give yourself over to rest. Thank goodness, your highness. Hmm. It's like a fucking baby. I will see you to the palace, your highness. Thank you, father. Majesty, send out the black dogs. Of course he is. The black dogs? You can't mean a bunch like them. Order the black dog knights to pursue Griffith's party and annihilate them. Majesty, please reconsider using men such as those. Slap, pimp slap. It's in with the Batman and Robin slap. You talk back to me? Tell the leader of the Black Dog Knights, Wild, he can name his position and reward if he brings me Griffith's hat. Why must his majesty use such scum? Captain, I mean, I know that the Black Dog Knights are made up of former criminals, and it wasn't as much as the Band of the Hawk, but didn't they do really well in the war? You fool. Do not refer to them as knights. They're a disgrace to the Midland Army. Besides, that man, sir. Sir? That man called Wild, there's something strange about him. He's like a beast. Oh, look at that. This is him. This dude is fucking huge, boy. And once again, we got the orgies taking place in Berserk. He just got women on women on women all over him. Must be nice. Trying to get like you, my boy. He does look like a fucking lion, actually. They up on him, too. My son is gripping him. Boss, we've got orders to move. Can't you tell by looking, moron? I'm busy now. Besides, this dude looks like a fucking... This dude looks like a fucking caveman, bro. Who man is this? I gotta go take care of a little business today. Oh, yeah, but... It's an order, direct from the king. Something about the boss of the band of the Hawk breaking out of jail or something. What? <laughs> Somehow flying. Now that's funny. That business I mentioned, it's him. Hmm. Yo, this guy's fucking freaky looking boy. It's with that Hawk boss. Flower the Stone Castle. End. Okay. All right. That is the end of chapter 58. And we are getting a lot more intriguing. One thing I'm going to say is, Kentaro, you do not hold your punches when it comes to nudity in this series. And I am waiting for the day. Even though I ain't big enough right now and I'm not big at all or whatever on YouTube. I'm waiting to get the hammer thrown down on my channel every time I read through this series and I show these panels on here. I'm no, I know eventually I may not be able to show these panels because it's just orgy after orgy after sex scene after sex scene. I don't know what to do, bro. I'm at my wit's end. But this is where we will end our stream here. So we finished through volume 10. We will pick up next stream with volume 11. Give me a second while I try to pull up my list so I can see what chapters we will be doing for our next stream which i'll probably end up doing tomorrow um around this same time so probably around 7 15. so we will be picking up with volume 11 and we're going to be reading chapters 59 60 61 62 and 63 so the first five chapters of volume 11 and then i'll try to make sure I'll, i wrap up volume 11 this week as well have a lot of things planned um, but, you know, possibly maybe Thursday we will do the second half of volume 11. So 
you know i hope you guys enjoyed the stream if you have not already please be sure to subscribe to the channel as well as the notification bell to get notified for more content that i put out as well if you ended up enjoying the stream be sure to hit me with a like and leave a comment if you watch this on the replay and let me know your thoughts on berserk volume 10 in its entirety so far berserk continues to be fucking lit bro and i know the golden age arc we're not too far from an ending i know it's gonna end around chapter 94 so we got about 30 more chapters so looking forward to continue on through the story and catching up to you guys one day to read monthly with everybody else so on that note y'all enjoy your life